I'm gonna share with you in this video how to do a React Bootstrap carousel within Gatsby. The power of Gatsby, and especially Gatsby Image, is it makes photos load super fast. How fast, you ask? Well, stay till the end as we're gonna reveal how fast this page really is in the PageSpeed Insights of Google. And with that, let's get started. All right, so to get started, I am using the Gatsby default starter in part that it already has the Gatsby plugin already installed. I wanna bring in these three photographs. I have downtown San Juan, I've got the forest of Puerto Rico, and I've got the old city. Let's head into GraphQL to get this thing started because if I can't see the pictures in GraphQL, it's never ever gonna work. So if I head over to localhost 8000, on a new screen, what I'm gonna get is a blank GraphQL section. So I'm looking for here is I wanna go into the all file area. So all file, if I click in here and hit plus, or the, excuse me, the play sign, I should get five IDs. That's because I have five pictures. I've got the Gatsby astronaut and icon along with the famous three here. What I have to do is I have to separate the Gatsby astronaut and the Gatsby icon from Puerto Rico. So let's start doing that. Let's use our filter to filter this information. The very top where it says filter, I'm gonna click right here and I'm looking for is a relative directory. I come down the page, there it is, relative directory, and equal, I'm gonna type in the folder name, or in this case, I'll just copy and paste it. What I get is when I paste that in, I should get three IDs. Now these IDs don't really mean much, so I'm actually gonna go down the page a little bit more, and I'm looking for relative path and the relative directory. Perfect, relative path shows me it's Puerto Rico slash downtown San Juan, and the directories are all Puerto Rico. So of course we can take out the relative directory. What I'm looking for is relative path. To get the actual file name though, what I'm looking for is base, because it's all about the base, where the base is the file name, downtown San Juan, the old city, and the forest of Puerto Rico. Cool. So we have these three pictures, but I now want to bring in the power of the Gatsby plugin image, which is the child image sharp. So if we scroll down here, what I'm looking for is child image sharp. And up at here, say a little sadness because there's no longer fixed or fluid we're gonna use. That's from the old Gatsby image. The new world is Gatsby image data. If I click on that and I hit play, oh, all this goodness starts showing up. This is awesome. The reason why I love this is because in the previous era, you couldn't actually see the pictures coming through in GraphQL. Now you can. Let's just start here and then we'll come back later and do some adjustments. Because I know everything's working in GraphQL, we're on the right track. Also, so you note if you are new to Gatsby, the reason why I can see all this information is if I head into the Gatsby config, if I pull up, I have two windows, make sure I got the right window here, that if we go in the Gatsby config, the reason for that picture showing up is that inside the default of the Gatsby default starter is the Gatsby source file system and we're targeting the images folder right here. Because of this, I can target all the files, literally in GraphQL, the all files, of the images folder, which is what I wanna use inside. Now that we have GraphQL working, let's go inside our index file and bring these pictures in. So what I'm gonna do is inside of my folder, source, pages, and index. And if I come over here, I can always drag and drop the index right in here. So what I have to do is I have to bring in GraphQL. And I do that at the very top where it says import link, I'm gonna type comma GraphQL. If I don't write this, this is gonna fail for sure in Gatsby version three. Version two gives you a warning message, but version three says without the word GraphQL, it's not gonna work. I'm gonna come down to the page and after the def uh, export default index page, I'm gonna write some code. 
I'm going to say export const for constant page query and say equal GraphQL and then add the back tick marks, not the ones. Let's try that again. Here we go, the back tick marks to encapsulate our query. Inside of here, I'm gonna drop it down, hit the tab key, and I'm gonna say slideshow, and hit colon. Now here is where the magic starts to happen. What I wanna do is I'm gonna copy, or not what I wanna do, what I am gonna do is copy all of that GraphQL goodness from all file down. If I head back, I wanna do one more thing because right now it's organizing it by ID. And to me, that doesn't really help me if I wanna organize it in alphabetical order. So I have to do one more little thing I just forgot to do. Down here, it's gonna say sort. And I'm gonna say sort fields, and I'm looking for base. There it is, there's the base and the order is gonna be ascending or descending. So if you want a certain numerical order from 10 to one, you can go descending. But since I want this in alphabetical order, I'm gonna say ASC. And now what happens is making sure that the downtown is first, we have the forest second, and we have the old city third. Perfect, I have all three in alphabetical order. Let's see if we can replicate this inside of our index file. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this. It's a little disconjointed, so I'm gonna make it a little prettier in a second. So I'm gonna grab everything except the top two curly brackets. So what I'm gonna do is grab the all file. And from here, what I'm gonna do, oh, I just realized something. I forgot to write query and include <laughs> that query as well. So you know what, I take it back. Let me erase slideshow for one second. And I'm gonna say query, because I actually haven't queried any data. And that's that initial set of curly brackets come in. And now I'm gonna say slideshow, colon, space, return. And because this is a little bit of a mess, what I wanna do is I can either, depending upon how I can write this, either you can have things all in alignment. Actually, you know what, look at back, filter and sort actually look pretty good. I take it back. I actually like the look of this. Sometimes I will have it looking like this, but I was afraid I would go too far across the page. So let's actually drop it to where it is. I'm gonna keep filter, sort, edges, node, we need the ID. I don't need the relative path. That was just to make sure it was gonna show up. So I can take that part out. What I need inside the nodes are ID, base, child image sharp, and I have to add some data to. Cats be mistaken because right now nothing's coming up. So let's go back over here. I'm going to add a couple more things. This is where all the goodness can start to happen. For right now, what I want to do is I'm just going to set a couple things. I'm going to set a width and a height because I want to keep the ratio the same for all the pictures. So I'm going to do is inside of here, I'm going to say height is going to be 600 and width is going to be 900. Basically, this is a two by three ratio, and I can use aspect ratio as well, but I just like to use this since I know all the pictures are a two by three aspect ratio. What I also wanna do is I also wanna bring in a placeholder, and we'll say blurred for our placeholder, and then I'm gonna choose for the quality we're gonna say 70. Since this is a slideshow, I do want this to be as low as possible. And then for the blurred options, I'm gonna say width is gonna be 100 because I wanna bring in as small a picture as I can possible in this design. Now that we have all this data, I can copy just the Gatsby image data like this. And if I replace Gatsby image data, perfect. So you can change this area once you get going. I wanted to separate Gatsby image data from ID and base. We're gonna use these for sure, but this is where all the goodness comes in right here. Perfect. So now what I wanna do is, assuming this is all working, if I save this, hopefully you do get success messages. Usually an error message will approach or come up if I don't bring in GraphQL. 
because I'm using the Charter Library as well, we already have the plugin image up here bringing the static image in. However, we're not using static images. We're bringing images via GraphQL. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna add something to this area. I'm gonna say static image comma, and we're gonna say Gatsby image. We're gonna use the Gatsby image to pull data from GraphQL. So before we get to the carousel, I wanna see if I can bring in these three pictures into this project. So right after the now build something great, I'm gonna put my cursor right up here so I have some room, and I'm gonna write some information to pull from GraphQL. I'm first gonna say I wanna bring in data. So I'll say data with curly brackets after the index page. And right here in the middle, I'm gonna say the following, data.slideshow, edges, map, and then parentheses, parentheses, this will be happening a few times. We're gonna say node in here, after the first set of parentheses, I think I got enough of them. Wait, one, two, three, yep, I think I do. Yes, we do. I'm gonna say equal sign and then greater than symbol and then open this one more time. So what I should have are three parentheses at the end. I had my notes to the side and I had to make sure I counted that properly. So yes. The node is wrapped inside the first set of parentheses. We're gonna map the data below. So here what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna say P, just because I have to have an open and close tag to wrap information in. And what I'm gonna bring in is first the P, I'm gonna say key equals node.id. Each key should have an ID attached to it, which we're pulling from down here. Notice I wrote slideshow, edges, and node, and the nodes contain the various bits of information. So what I'm gonna do is, the reason why I like that base word for a lot of reasons, is I'm gonna say inside this paragraph tag, I'm gonna say node.base. Let's see if this works or if I return any error messages. Oh, that, that's fine. I was like, wait a second. Perfect, the warning, I was like, oh, I thought I got it wrong. No, the Gatsby image hasn't been used yet. So the good thing is that we can fix that down the road. Now build something great. I should see downtown San Juan, the forest of Puerto Rico, and the old city. Since we know our map is working, let's now bring in three pictures along with the base, and then we're gonna go into our carousel. So what I'm gonna do is, where this base is, I'm gonna put one area right below node base. I'm gonna say Gatsby, if I could type the right keys, not GraphQL, <laughs> that's better. I had the caps lock key turned on. All right, Gatsby image, we're gonna say image, and then equals, we're gonna write the following, node.childImageSharp, there we go, and Gatsby image data. So what I'm doing down here is where it says node, I'm just gonna follow it down. So node, child image sharp, and child, or excuse me, Gatsby image data. Make sure you're aware of the capital I's and the capital S and the capital D. That's imperative, otherwise, if you don't spell it right, error messages will happen. Now, the alt for these pictures is gonna be the base. So, what we can do is, we can just copy that node base and drop it in where it says alt, hit the slash, and close it up. Assuming this is working, we're gonna hit save. What I should get are three pictures. Downtown San Juan, the forests of Puerto Rico, and the old city. Now that we have these three pictures on the page, what I wanna do is I wanna bring in a carousel. So I'm gonna stop my development server and we're gonna head over to Mr. React Bootstrap at react-bootstrap.github.io. Get started, we're gonna copy it in. And while this is running, what I wanna do is I wanna go find the CSS. 
where it says CSS. And normally I would drop this in components, but for display purposes, I'm gonna drop it right into my index file. And it should be good to go. One thing I have to do is I have to add it in here. Normally I would put this, I'll make a note. Let's say normally I'd put this in my components file, components folder. Only because this area usually goes up into components and into my layout.js but I wanted to have it all on the same page just so you could see it working. So let's save this and let's restart Gatsby Develop. And what we should see is a new kind of file, not file, font showing up on the page as this serif font will turn to a sans serif if React Bootstrap is working properly. Refresh the page, there it is. Now that serif font turned into sans serif. We know it's working, so let's bring in the carousel. So what I wanna do is after that bootstrap.min.css, I'm gonna say import. I like to keep it empty for a second, so I'll hit double space, and I'll say from React Bootstrap. Now that we wrote React Bootstrap, this can autofill the information. So I'm gonna say carousel, just like that, and now I'm gonna build the carousel inside this section. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna put carousel above these nodes. So I'm gonna write carousel, and then inside the carousel is where I'm gonna include this data. So I'm gonna cut it and drop it in, and this carousel now has carousel items, and that's how the carousel works within React Bootstrap. So inside of these parentheses, I'm gonna say the following. I'm gonna say carousel.item, and it should be capital I-T-E-M, and we're gonna grab that key, since we know that is working, and we'll drop it into the carousel item. And now what I wanna do is, I'm gonna move Gatsby image into the carousel item. So I'm gonna grab Gatsby image right here and we'll cut it and we'll drop it in. And so we don't need the node base for right now. I'm just gonna make it a commented out. So what that does is it allows the carousel item to be the top and bottom of our code inside of the node. Assuming I've done it all the right way. Oh, check it out. Look at that. Oh. Wait a second, why is there a picture down there? What happened, astronaut, image? Let me just get rid of the bases for a second because I think something's amiss. Save, oh, just a glitch, it didn't refresh fast enough. Cool, was it that? Take a look, the base shouldn't deal with it. No, nope, it just didn't load fast enough, that's all it is. So now that we have is we have our carousel and it's rotating, and we own our computer, so it's hard to see how fast it loads, but by default. But there's one little problem I have with that. If you look at this design, actually, these look pretty good. But let's say you had a picture that was not perfect in size. Even though we said width and height, the height and width is relative to the overall size. What I wanna do is I wanna add one more piece in here. What I'm gonna do is in GraphQL, back here, I'm looking for something that says transform options. And I'm gonna say transform options right here. And what I wanna do is I want these pictures to crop into my design. So I'm gonna say crop focus, and I wanna say cover, or center, excuse me. Crop focus should be center, but I also wanna fit this as a cover. This will also help this to fit properly in case things are not cropped perfectly, giving you more of an easy way to make sure that doesn't change in the ratio. So I'm gonna copy this, Gatsby image data, and I'll bring it back into my project. Come right down here, 
And now what I'm gonna be adding is the transform options, crop focus, center and fit cover. And now what we get, if we come back into Chrome, is an error message. Every so often in Gatsby version three, it'll run an error message. Just hit Command R or Control R to refresh the page. And like magic, you have a slideshow carousel using React Bootstrap inside of Gatsby version three. Oh, and the best part about it is it's responsive by default. Pretty darn rad. So this almost looks awesome. The problem is under the hood, it's not awesome. So if I go inspect, I look at some code, what I'm looking for is the alt information. And okay, this is harder than I thought to see. Let's do it this way. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop this rotation for a second because it's hard to see the alt information. So let's do this. I'm gonna come back up. I can close Gatsby config. And for right now, I'm gonna just simply comment out the carousel item and bring back the P tag for that base. So if you think about it, we use node base for the alt. The alt information shows downtown San Juan, the forest of Puerto Rico, and the old city. Unfortunately, that's not written where screen readers can actually read it. The dashes have to go away. I don't want the JPEG. I could do a little more work to clean up the text right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write some more code to help this out. So inside node base, I'm gonna say split parentheses, and we're gonna split the dashes apart. But after that, we're gonna join them. We're gonna join them with nothing. So it's empty. I wanna take out that period. I'm gonna say split again. And then we're gonna take the period out we're gonna take out the extension after that by saying zero. Now what I get by saying split join split zero, check it out, downtown San Juan and the force of Puerto Rico. Note how the capital letters are in San Juan and Puerto Rico. That's because if we head over to our page images, we have downtown San Juan and Puerto Rico with capital letters. Now that we have these, we can replace the base in our code right here up at the top. So I can just copy this. I'm gonna make comment amount and we'll bring back our carousel. And now what I wanna do is I wanna change the alt from node.base to node.base split join split zero. And if we save it, now what we get is back to where we were before. However, we now get the benefit of using the file names as alt information in our carousel. And if you're thinking that's a lot of work, well, there's actually some proof in why we did that. If I come over here, I've got a finished version at carousel-gatsby-image.adesignerwhocodes.com. Same exact design, I just took out the spaceman down below, but everything else is the same. The reason why I use the Gatsby image is check this out. PageSpeed Insights give me a pure 100 on mobile and a pure 100 on desktop. That is wicked fast for a three picture large. We have 3.4, 1.9 and 175 kilobytes. We have three large pictures and yet we get a perfect score on the insights of 100 and 100. Gatsby image rocks. But wait, your Gatsby image journey does not have to end here. I have more videos within the Gatsby image world that just make your websites fly. Check them out. As always, I'm Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes.